Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. It means the absolute world to me. And if you are new here, thanks so much for clicking on my thumbnail and wanting to see what my channel is all about. And I really do hope that you enjoy the video. So as you can see, I am coming to you bareface today. It is a rainy, yucky day here in New York and it's finally cool. It is a lovely 57 degrees. I have a long sleeve shirt on and I am comfortable. Yes, that makes me very, very happy because I suffered all summer long. So what do you do on a rainy day? I am surrounded currently by a boat load of new makeup that I have currently hauled in my last bunches of hauls. And I said, you know what? I haven't tried any of it yet. So why not sit down and play with makeup and have some fun with you guys? So we are going to start with this entire face of makeup. I'm hoping this video is not going to be 10 hours long because it usually takes me 10 hours like to do my makeup. But um, so one of the things I did haul was the Hydro Mist Crystal Power from Pacifica. I am loving this brand. I wish they had more skincare because of the product, the ingredients that they put in their stuff is amazing and I like to start out without tasting it by thoroughly spritzing my face to get it nice and moist hate that word yeah okay so uh, normally I would layer on like serums and essences and all that other kind of stuff but I don't have all that new stuff so I am just going to try a moisturizer which is very unusual for me and I got this sample in my Allure box several months back it is the Olay whipped moisturizer and I never tried it so I figured what the hey it has a very slight scent to it it's a little perfumey but it's light very light this looks very, very whipped, as they say, and very silicone-y. And let's see. Dark circles today are just... And, and I think I got enough sleep last night, but I didn't sleep well. So they are just banging today, let me tell you. Can't wait to cover them up. For those of you who don't know, I have normal, currently normal to dry skin. I used to be exceedingly oily when I was younger, but as at almost 50, my skin has changed dramatically. So this soaks very, very nicely into your skin. So let's try this pharmacy eye cream. It is called the Total Eye Cream and it has echinacea in it. I'm very particular. My under eyes are extremely dry. So I'm very particular about my eye creams. It has no scent. It is a green. Oh, the puffiness under my eyes. And I just did an eye mask too. They are just, they're just gonna be problematic. Maybe I'm eating too much salt, could be. Oh, and I just would be careful because I just got a little in my eye and it stings. Yeah, do not get this in your eye. I'm going to let that sink in. I doubt it's gonna do anything for the puffiness. I'm actually thinking about trying that Preparation H trick underneath the eyes to reduce the puffiness. I said either that or I have to cut down my salt intake or something, I don't know. If you guys have any other tricks, let me know. I'm gonna spray some more of this. This is my first time using this one and I like it. It looks like it has like a little bit of shimmer in it but it doesn't, it doesn't show up sparkly on the face or anything like that thing I'm going to try is uh, I'm gonna do prime my face and I have so many primers right now and I've never tried this cover FX that we got either in BoxyCharm or in my FabFitFun so I figured let's give it a shot it's the blurring primer which I do like I want to be blurred it's very thick it's a tan color a lot doesn't go a little does not go a long way I'll tell you it doesn't really have that slippery feel to it. These under eyes are killing me today, people. Okay, um, it feels a little tacky, but it didn't like glide on like a lot of my other blur blurring primers do. It did mattify my face a little bit. I guess we'll see how it goes. I wonder if I should put it under my eyes. See, my eyes are already dry. They're already dry from that cream I put on. I gotta add some more. I recently picked up um, two L'Oreal, from two L'Oreal like glowy things, glowy things from the Lumi collection. I actually did a whole video on like this kind of whole CVS and drugstore haul that I did. 
but it was a little bit of an angry video because I had a really, really bad day. It's like, I shouldn't film when I have a really bad day, so I, I didn't put it up. <laughs> but there were some other things that I had gotten in there. But I want to try these days where buy one, get one 50% off in CVS. So I got... I can't read the actual colors, but this one says 507, and it's more of a pinky. Let me just swatch it. I'm going to shake them first. It's more of a pinky sheen to it. Wow, how beautiful. It feels a little oily, but not like that over oily type of stuff. This reminds me of the Cover FX, actually. This is the bronzy one. More golden, but not orange. Which one do I want to use today? Let's go with the bronzy one. Okay. I like to be glittery, glit, glowy, glittery, whatever. I like to glow. Now I'm sure, I'm definitely sure that you can add this into your foundation or your moisturizer or use it just as highlighter, but I'm not a fan of liquid highlighters, so that is how I tend to use them. That's what I did do with my Cover FX uh, drops that we got in a BoxyCharm quite a while ago. I put them on like this. So the foundation that I'm dying to try, because I just bought like four new foundations, so, and I got like a bunch of mini samples of everything, so I'm like in foundation overload. But I wanted to try the um, Lancome Reanergy Lift Makeup. This one has good for you ingredients, and it's supposed to be anti-aging. I did swatch this um, on camera for you guys already, and if I remember correctly, the color was a good match. It's a fairly liquid foundation. And the other thing that I'm going to be trying, I'm looking for the bag. Aha, I found the bag. This new sponge that I have seen now all over the internet. I first heard about this about two months ago from Jordan Byers. She's a smaller channel, not small. She has like 500,000 subscribers, but she doesn't have the millions like Tati and Nikki Tutorials do. I'm mentioning them because Jordan Byers talked about this sponge first and uh, she loved it and supposedly now it is all she uses and then Tati and Nikki Tutorials talked about them and they blew up all over the place and now everybody wants them. It is a microfiber sponge. It is fuzzy. You know I bought it because of the fuzzy, right? <laughs> because that's me. So supposedly this sponge can be used for both powder and cream products. According to the directions they say for powder and cream to use it dry and for foundations and liquids to use it wet. I should have shown you it dry. It did puff up quite a lot. This is the bag that it does come in, which is kind of cute. So I did wet mine so it significantly expands, but it feels, it's, it's literally fuzzy. The whole thing is fuzzy. And you can see it has the flat edge. So I am so curious <laughs> to see how this works. They say don't put the foundation directly on the sponge. Hmm. It feels really soft on your face. It's like pouncing like a kitten. Fuzziness of it is just killing me. I love it. Foundation is really nice. It's going on beautifully. I am using a lot. I don't know whether it's because of foundation or the sponge. I'm not sure. So far, I'm really liking the foundation. It gives good coverage. This won't be a wear test or anything. This is just my fun first impression kind of thing. This next thing that I got is from L'Oreal True Match. It looks like the Charlotte Tilbury uh, concealer. I did try this on in my hand already to see what the color is, and uh, I don't know. I'm not so sure. I haven't tried it underneath my eyes. It's got that sponge tip, which is kind of like the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which I wasn't a fan of. And this will, we'll see. I think this may be too dark because it's really matching my skin tone, but that may help disguise some of the bags. Hmm. Hmm. See, now normally I would go in with like four different concealers to try to disguise the bags. It doesn't have a scent. I really don't like the applicator because it's like not depositing much. Well, maybe if I had a lighter one, it just, it, this little freaking, yeah. So far, I'm just not liking it. But I'm not going anywhere today, so it's not a big deal. 
the foundation is definitely not drying down it's very dewy um, it's tacky um, so you will have to set it and that being said now I bought another product from this company and I don't know what I did with it I saw this brand new display in CVS it's called Joa uh, they had a whole display. They have everything. They're a moderately priced, I'd say around the prices of like maybe eight to like, I think the most expensive thing was like $19 or something. Um, I'm going to put, if I can get it, I'm going to put the display. I took a picture of the display in store. They must have thought I was nuts, but I'm going to put it here if I still do have it in my phone. So this is Selfie Ready Setting Powder. They had three colors. They had a translucent, they had a banana setting powder, and they had a deeper setting powder. So I think they were trying to go for the all the color ranges. Now, I can say that their foundations, they did not have a good selection of ranges. I think they only had 12 foundations, at least on display. First, I'm going to try my sponge. See how it works underneath my eyes, which is always a disaster, and especially a disaster today because of what's going on underneath there. But let's try this first. I said I don't think anything is going to look good underneath my eyes, but... Now, they just, I forgot, they said to use this sponge for with um, dry for powders, but... It's going on pretty decently with it being wet. But the funny thing is, these do not remain wet. They almost feel dry very quickly. So I'll do this side of my face with the powder with this sponge. And the other side, I'll do with my brush. It's very, it feels very nice on the skin. The powder does that way, by the way. Interesting. Let's try it with the brush. I'm going to use that new Cala brush that I got in CVS and why am I waving at you like a magic wand? Ding! I'm surrounded by a cloud of powder. It's really, I have really bad lighting so it's very hard to tell. The best lighting I have is from my simple human mirror in my bedroom and I would have to go and look, I'm covered in powder, look at that to see. I think it's nice. The powder seems very finely milled. I believe this was, I said, like, a left. It literally rolled across my floor. Bye. See you later. Okay. Um, I think it was around 12 or $13, so. I think it looks nice. It took away the tackiness of my uh, foundation. Only that one will tell. I don't know how it looks on camera to you guys, but I said it's very gray out and just my one umbrella light that I can use doesn't do that much, but we are now going to try this, which you saw I got one of for one of you guys in the giveaway, and I just saw this. They are selling this um, on sale for $27. It's originally like $27. I think Ulta now has it on sale for $21, but remember, I got these at 75% off of $24, so... I swatched it for you guys, but I'm so excited to use it. It is the Smashbox, uh, what is it called? Step-by-step -step contour palette. So I'm gonna use this like more gray toned one over here and sculpt. This is like the perfect contour color for me. That went in really nicely. I like it. Now I'm gonna go into the more bronzy toned color with my fluffier brush and warm that up a little. I like it. Whoever wins this is going to be quite happy, I think. I'm going to maybe sculpt out underneath my cheekbones. I was going to say chicken bones. <laughs> Why do I have chicken on my mind? Uh, with this white color. As I said, it says it's a highlighter. It's not really a highlighter. It's more for sculpting. As you can see, that white powder underneath, I hope you can see on camera, it just cleans up any harsh lines of the bronzer and it kind of gives you like a, just a nice little cut. I don't always have the time to do that in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, but when I do have the time, I like to do it. I also usually like to um, contour my nose, but I didn't bring any of my tools for that, so I'm going to skip the nose contour. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just pass over that. I have two blushes that I don't know which one I want to try. I have this, the Becca blush that I got, it was 34, but I got it on sale, 75% off. That's that color. 
in Snapdragon. And then I picked this one up. That This was in my CVS haul because, again, these were buy one fifty uh, get 50% off as well. This is the L'Oreal Paradise, the scented blush. It's called Enchanted. You know me, scented. Anya, where are you? This one's in Bashful. Here's the color. It's just a very, very pretty peachy color. Oh, how cute. It comes with the mirror. Um, doesn't really smell though. Kind of disappointed. Oh, it has a bit of sheen to it. There you go. I don't know. You can't even see it on my skin tone. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to wear, so I guess it's going to depend upon the eye look that I'm going to do. I had two eyeshadow palettes that I could have chosen from, and maybe, I don't know. I'm going to show you them both. I'll decide which one I want to do, and you guys tell me if you want like a dedicated video for any of them. I'm not sure, but the first one that I got, you saw it in the haul, was the Melissa Michelle palette. This one I have my questions about. Of course, you can't see because of the glare. This one's really interesting. And then the other one that I have to try, which, again, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. Maybe I'll do a video on, dedicated video on this one. This is the Life's a Festival palette from Too Faced with this squishy top. And here's the palette. Now, I don't know if you saw on Instagram, I had issues with this palette that all of the pans are off set from each other. Like they're not seated properly. And I thought it was just really poor packaging. And I emailed um, Too Faced and they basically told me, oh, you're SOS, you're out of luck. And uh, they won't do anything for me. Now, the problem is, hold on. Problem um, is I picked one of these up for you guys for another giveaway and the same issue is in the palette. It's not perfect. The pans are offset and see it's right back there and I don't know. It's up to you guys. Will that bother you that there's a, a defect, manufacturer defect in it? If you still want me to put it into a giveaway, please let me know down below if that's not going to bother you. Because I felt bad, I was like, how can I put like a defective palette in, but they won't let me switch it out or refund my money. So there's that issue. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a dedicated video on that. And we're going to try the Melissa Michelle palette because I'm very curious about these sparkly colors because of the way they swatched. I'm going to take out the applicator and the lipstick or else it is going to fall. No, they don't fall. Alrighty. Oh, they're not falling because they got little sticky things on the back. Okay. We're going to go into this light shade, which is called Rotorman. That's interesting. I think this is my BH Cosmetics brush, but the uh, writing is worn off, so I don't know. I'm going to go all over my lid. It's nice. It's soft. It's pretty. I mean, obviously, I can't, you know... It matches my skin tone, so I don't really know about anything else, but let's do this light pink one here for a transition. It's called 100%. I'm going to use the same brush. You see it picks up nicely. A little bit of fallout, so tap it off. And she picked it. Well, that was unexpected. Well, that worked out nicely. Let's go into this purple which is called Florida for my crease. I'm going to take my good old, and I mean old, <laughs> Avon brush. Wow. Um, that's a lot deeper than I thought it was going to be. It doesn't look that deep in the pan. Okay, look at it on my eyes and look at it in the pan. It does not look like that deep of a color, but holy smokes. And tread lightly in it, my friends, because it is pigmented. Well, that is going to need to be blended because that is pigmented as all heck. So far, I'm absolutely loving these. I'm going to use this one called Oi, which just, which just kills me. And I'm using my It Cosmetics brush. If you can get it, cosmetics brushes, even the ones for Ulta, they are different quality, but even the ones from Ulta are fabulous. I'm actually going to try this green on the inside of my lid. I'm going to use a little 
sponge applicator. Wow. <laughs> this is going on better than my $46 Becca palette. Didn't like this color. Um, it didn't go really with what I was trying to accomplish. So I'm going to cover that up. I'm going to use this color called Dude. <laughs> my Vintage Cosmetics Angled Brush. That's better. I have to try this manifest in the corner. Oh. I'm going to use this mirror because it's going to be a little bit easier. I mean, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> wow. Now I'm actually going to take oil and run that underneath my lash line. That works better as a lower lash line color. I think I would probably use the green in a different area and maybe different color combinations, but honestly, I think this palette is spectacular. It was $20 and I got it for um, buy one, get one 50% off. If you were looking for a good quality, non-expensive palette, go for this one. Don't spend the $46 on the Becca palette. I think you can create a lot of looks with this. I used a lot of the colors, but there's so many other combinations that I want to do. This is a bit dark for me, and I said the green, I'm not sure is good for my skin tone, or maybe I should do it in a different manner, but I still am liking it. And I think with mascara and liner, it's gonna look even better. Now you also do get, I think this is a gloss, but let me look for a minute. No, my friends, this is a liquid liner. We're going to have to play with this, but I have like four other liners I want to use, but I can't wait to try it. It's glittery. I'm hoping it performs well. Speaking of liners, I have so many that I want to try. I have this NYX, which is the blue one, which I probably won't use because obviously I did a purple eye look today, but this is the um, dark blue and then the glitter liner that you put on top. I also have this Too Faced jealous gel eyeliner gel which i haven't even opened the box yet i haven't tried this one yet oh and it is a roll up very soft and nice precise line hmm okay that's one idea the next is i have to try i know i have to try the stamp absolutely have to try the stamp this one i think i, I did show on camera and it comes with tons of product this one, you know what it reminds, it's like Vaseline with some glitter in it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Maybe I could use it as like an eyeshadow topper for some glitter, but, or maybe even as a glitter glue, literally a glitter glue. But I have the pot eyeliner. I have a pencil eyeliner, which I have tried, so I'm not going to try that. I have their liquid liner and then the stamp. You know what? Let's try this. Let's have fun with the stamp first. And then we'll figure out the rest. Can you see how that looks? I don't know if you can, but let's let's say. Picture that they're showing is it just you? Interesting. In order to do this, I need a different mirror. Well, that's not even. <laughs> this eye is harder. This is my more hooded eye. Okay, this might work. This is like the VAMP stamp, which is like $25. And now everyone's coming out with dupes for them. So, I mean, I, I think it's pretty good. So, let's try the liquid liner to connect the lines. And then maybe I'll finish off with the Too Faced gel liner. So, this has... A nice fine tip to it. I really need my magnifying mirror for this, but I 
okay they are uneven I said I need my magnifying mirror for it but this liner is really good I like it it doesn't skip it goes on really really smoothly and the stamp I think is like really awesome especially for me who struggles because of my hooded eyes doing winged eyeliner I go through such a process and it takes me so long so if you can get them even if you're close enough and you can't see without your glasses uh, yeah so let's try this eyeliner next and see how that does I want to see how it works in my waterline Okay, it goes in the waterline very, very nicely, and it doesn't tug on the eyelids at all. I like. Let's run some mascara. I did get this. Um, I wanted to try a new eye primer, although I honestly don't think anyone can, anything can replace my Lash Paradise Pink Primer. But I bought this Colossal Big Shot Lash Tinted Primer. It looks just like mascara. Um, let's see. It's a much thinner formula than the Lash Paradise. I don't know if it did much. I'm used to I'm used to my Lash Paradise, which is my love. You know that. Let's see how this works. I have this little baby troublemaker mascara. I mean, and I do mean little teeny tiny baby one. I like the packaging though. I don't know if they've given us a miniature um, bristle or this is the full size or not. Let's see. I believe it is like a duo type of bristle brush because it feels a little plasticky, but at the same time it feels like, you know, natural bristles. I think it's okay. I'm not blown away by it. By the way, guys, I'm saving up to get myself a ring light because the ring light setup that I want is like $269, but I can't wait to get it because my lighting is so hard to see truly like um, how things are going on and I can't wait. I'm saving for it. I think I'm going to be doing a no by October so that I can save up and get my ring light. I mean, I like it, but I think it just gives me more natural lashes than I usually like to wear. It definitely does a clump. It goes on nicely. Itchy eyeball. I'll, of course, use it. And especially this size, I'll probably use it very quickly. I don't know if I'd run out and buy it again, but um, it's not a bad mascara. I said it's just not as oomphy as I usually like it. Now for the brows, and then we're going to... You know what? Before I do that, I want to put on my blush. I'm... I'm gonna go with the peachy blush because I think it's a little bit less pigmented because that really pinky one might be a lot. Hmm. Let me try a different brush. Okay, that made a little, excuse me, a little bit of a difference. I think it's a subtle, subtle blush. It's, it's pretty, it's not so pigmented that you have to be exceedingly careful. But it gives it gives a nice little blush of blush. Get it? Blush of color. Okay, so I have two new highlighters that I bought. CVS was having, of course, a buy one get one fifty percent off, and then I also think I had a coupon as well for like I think six dollars off a fifteen dollar makeup purchase. And I think I got 10 extra bucks back when you spend a certain amount, like $30 on makeup. So I like lucked out completely. So the two colors that I have are Pearl, which is more of an icy white with a gold undertone. And then I have Iridescence, which has a pinky. And they do call them butter highlights for a reason, because they feel like butter. This is your pearl and this is your iridescence. And since considering I'm wearing the purples today, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one. Hmm, it's not as blingy as I thought it would be. 
and the pinky perkable lily shift does like that's the overwhelming color so if you're not into that I mean it's going on it's just not as you know like I thought it would be everyone raves about these but I can tell you they blend into your skin like they're not sitting on top of it and they feel really nice Okie dokies. Now for lipstick. I There's the two lip things that I want to try. I got this Too Faced Magic Crystal Mistle, uh, Mistle, Mystic Effects Lip Topper. This one is the, in the curry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Color Fairy Tears or Tails. Fairy Tears. And it is a goldy shift to it. The Studded Kiss Kat Von D Lipstick and Double there. Who loves the scent of these lipsticks? I do. Kat Von D makes some good products, let me tell you. Too bad, like, she's got to, like, push her beliefs on to, like, everyone. Because she makes some good products, and that stuff smells amazing. And this is, like, my favorite color of hers. I don't know if it's going with the look we got going on, but, hey, that's okay. It's just coming off after this because I'm just about to throw my hair up in a top knot and, like, do some major cleaning. That's it. But I'm going to try this. Oh, wow. Oh, this doesn't smell like the usual ones do. Completely transformed that, that lipstick. Well, I'll tell you, it probably uh, you may, or maybe you want to. Me, personally, I wouldn't do all this sparkle all together. But occasionally, I do like a metallic, sparkly lip. I do happen to like it, but only when I'm wearing, like, other subtle makeup. But if you like to rock all of it all together, you do you, and you probably look gorgeous doing it. Me, personally, um, I would, like, rock one or the other, but that's just me. This is really comfortable. And it's cute. I bet you would look pretty over, like, you know, everything, essentially. Uh, yeah, me likey. Last thing we have to do is brows. Now, I got these two. You also saw them from the haul. The Tattoo Studio um, Eyebrows in 355 and in 360, because I didn't know what color you can see. One is uh, darker than the other. And I want to see... Now, when I swatched them on my hand, they didn't work really well. The whole thing is these little tiny bristles that are supposed to be like brush-like strokes, but you have to push hard to get the product out. Very wet. Okay, I got a little bit of it there. Let's try and see what happens. I wish it had a spoolie. That is the only thing that bothers me, is it should have a spoolie on the other end. So you probably need like a regular pencil for the rest of your brows, but let's try and create those brush-like strokes. Yeah, that's not happening. Push too hard or the liquid comes out. I can tell you that the brush-like strokes are not happening. Um, the angle of it is not proper to, to be able to do it. Like, there's no way. See, when you push, see the clumps that you get? Okay, this is an epic fail. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're not, we're not completing my brows today because I, my, my tokus is too lazy to get up and go get a regular eyebrow. <laughs> eyebrow thing. Yeah, I, um, me no likey. I don't like those. They, um, yeah, that was a waste. And those were not cheap either. They were like, I don't know, $11 or something like that. Okay, so we had one epic fail today, but overall, there's quite a few things that I liked in, like, my stuff. I said I would definitely create a different bit, an eye look, because this one is not really, like, happening for me right now. Um, Everything else, I really like. I'm gonna do a little spritz. Yeah, why not? Cause I'm just gonna take it off, but you know. Love that smell, it smells like coconuts. And um, I just like to spritz all day long, but 
that's it guys thank you so much for joining me i know this was a bit of a long video you guys gotta try that sponge and did i tell you the sponge is six dollars six dollars yeah mm -hmm. i love it i recommend you go get it and um everything else yeah i'm happy i hope you guys enjoyed this i said that already i don't mind repeating it because i like to know <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing week. I hope it is beautiful and sunshiny and foley wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.